Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Doris. I'm here to show us about my stock account today. Right now, the net asset of my account is $71,226.66. Today's PR is a gain of 0.1%. Today, Apple has closed down 0.03% in the post market and 0.25% during the market. SQQ closed down 1.13% to 15.81%. SPY closed up 0.039% and 0.39% to 455.02. United Natural Gas closed up 1.53% to 5.98. Today, let's look at the market. The market generally closed higher as... As the... All three major indices closed up with a gain. On November 22nd, the University of Michigan posted its consumer confidence data, showing that the one-year consumer inflation expectations were revised up to a 4.5% in November, the highest level in seven months and significantly above the 23 to 3% range that the previous two years of the pandemic, which the market had expected to remain at 4.4%. Separately, long-term inflation expectation for the 5 to 10 years of expected inflation remained at 3.2%, the highest level since The highest level since 2011, and the market had expected to be revised down to 3.1%. By contrast, the figure in the first two years of the pandemic ranged from 2.2% to 2.6%. Additionally, she added that one year Oil price expectations has risen to their highest since June 2022, and five-year oil prices to their highest since March 2022. Economists have posted suggestions that central banks don't want to see consumer inflation expectations become unstable, and historically it'll cause trouble for them to define deinflate. After the report, the treasury yields rose significantly, with the yield the two-year treasury note almost related to the monetary policy, up above 4.9% once again, and the dollar index back to above 104. Earlier this month, the Federal Reserve left the target range for the federal funds rate unchanged between the 5.25% and 5.5%. Despite two consecutive pauses, the Fed did not announce the end of its rate hike cycle. President Chairman Jerome Powell has repeatedly stressed that there is still a long way to go for the U.S. inflation to return to 2%. Earlier in the day, the Labor Department data showed 209,000 in the weekend, ended November 18th, down 24,000 from the previous week, the biggest drop since June. 